There is a group of trained volunteers and their canines ready to help with search and rescue calls. It's called North Star Search and Rescue. WCCO meteorologist Lisa Meadows and her dog Thunder have been training with the group. She's giving us this inside look at how it works. Let me get people that can run trails real quick. Every Sunday morning, they're here. The volunteers of North Star Search and Rescue. We provide nationally certified search and rescue canines that help to find missing people for different law enforcement agencies across Minnesota, Wisconsin. They help families looking for grandparents with Alzheimer's who go missing or a child with autism who walks away and doesn't know how to get home. We don't self deploy, so we are called in by law enforcement to look for these people. When the call comes in, the dogs get to work using their noses to track a scent trail for miles. Track. The dog will smell that scent article and they're able to track to that person uh, off of the skin cells that they drop as they're walking. These dogs are from working dog bloodlines, so that drive is bred into them. A drive that for some canine partners can be a lot to handle. I would know. When I'm not talking thunder on TV, I'm training thunder, my dog, in the woods. It's easy for them to go in one direction, all of a sudden they cut and turn where they're, they're saying, hey, the scent's over here, and we would have kept going in a straight direction, missing the person altogether. Get to work. Show me. Every canine team has a search and rescue technician that goes along with them to watch for any hazards and also for navigation. Let him figure it out. They say one dog can cover the search of 30 people. Beyond the rescues, more than half of the team's canines know how to track the remains of those who didn't make it. Those recovery missions are important to bring closure to families. The HRD is human remains detection. Those dogs are trained in blood, bone, tissue, and ash and are able to find uh, human remains at all levels of decomposition. And underwater, as many deployment calls are for drowning victims. It's an amazing feeling to be able to give a family closure uh, just so they can kind of piece together what happened with their missing loved one if they don't come home alive. These volunteers spend countless hours training their dogs. For every completed mission, the dogs know their reward is love, praise, and a crowd favorite, a good old game of fetch. It is very rewarding. It is a lot of fun. It takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of practice, but um, we have a really good team and a lot of supportive people. A bond built between man and man's best friend with the potential to save lives of people in Minnesota. He is a working dog, but he's also my pet, and uh, um, I just love him to death. And I know that's how you feel about Thunder. Congratulations oh, yeah. to both Thank you, you and yeah, Thunder cool, on your Lisa. certification. Thank you. And I know you've wanted to do it for a while. Mm -hmm. it was about you, a year. Ha you have his vest, so why right. isn't he wearing his vest right now? So they only the dogs only wear their vest when they're actually training or when they're out actually on a search because once you put the vest on, that's when they know they it's time know. to get to work. And they dogs love this. This is all just a big game to them. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how the North Star team has spent so much time and effort training all these dogs. And it's all voluntary. It's a nonprofit group. They use their own money. So we actually do have a link to donate if you'd like to donate to the team on WCCO.com for different types of equipment. And they go all over the country for training. Right, and a lot of like good that. work. Yeah. yeah. Old thunder. A year and a half. Thunder wants his handsome boy. Look at hot dogs. Got his treats. Chris, would you like a hot dog? Th I was just going to say, Thunder and Frank sound the same when they're waiting for a hot dog. <laughs> 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 hey, some people may be breathing like that, hyperventilating uh, with talk of this storm coming this week.